The self-erecting tower crane stands itself, it uses hydraulics or cables to go ahead and pull itself mechanically into position. Saying they erect themselves is a little bit misleading, and it's a lot of labor that goes into putting these up, and sometimes it's another uh, forklift or crane that's putting the weights on. A little crane like this one, it probably runs on 230 volts, so the motor's going to be pretty slow with not a lot of juice. Um, you end up having capacities in the, say, 2,200 pound range to 4,000 pounds on this class of crane. If you're reaching out to uh, 45 or maybe, maybe even 60 feet on something like this, it might have a capacity of uh, 1,100 pounds at the tip. I left this portion of the video slow so you can see how slow the cranes actually run which makes a lot of sense when you got a guy who's gonna be learning how to run a crane. They're not really a production crane. They're good for somebody that's gonna to need to make some picks now and then. The way the economics work on something like this, like if you find one of these that's about 10 years old, you might pay 20 or maybe $30,000 for one of these. And then you can train up your own person to go ahead and run it. So your carpenter who's normally driving nails or taking measurements is going ahead and running the crane here and there to get stuff done and then they don't have to call in a mobile crane at 200 bucks an hour and driving in, driving out, or buying a mobile, which is much more complex and operationally a lot more dangerous just because uh, all the things can go wrong with a mobile crane versus a tower crane. Once it's set up, it's got all the limits, you should be okay. This is getting into the bifold size of uh, uh, self-erecting tower cranes. This one would probably have a under the hook height of something like 62 feet. Um, it'll set up in maybe 35, 40 minutes with somebody that's skilled on a good site. And then uh, your capacities would be around 4,000 pounds on the hook. Uh, you might see 4,400 pounds. And then out of the tip, you would be good also for 1,100 11, pounds. And that, that tip should be out towards uh, up to 82 feet on some of the bifolds. This is also a good size for that contractor that has maybe 15 people working for them and they're doing a bar and joy, bar joist job, um, like on a, on a store or a warehouse. Um, and it's just a smaller crane that can kind of reach across and you don't have to call in that mobile all the time or it's, maybe it's too large for a telehandler. This is getting closer to the commercial class of construction cranes. This is an IAGO T85. Uh, you might have reach up to 45 meters or 147 feet. Uh, your line pole would be up to 13,000 pounds in tight. Uh, out of the tip, uh, depending on if you're two or four part configuration, you'd be at 2,700 pounds, or maybe 3,000 pounds out of the tip. Uh, speeds are okay on this. Uh, they're not, not lightning fast, but they're moving. Uh, you need to start to get to the point where you're thinking about having an operator is going to be worth your money to be out there. You'll see what I mean here with the forklift helping put the weights on. They can put themselves on, put the weights on themselves, but you have to get the weights close by anyways. And so they just go ahead and put them on with the telehandlers most, most of the time. Um, these are expensive cranes. These are $400,000. They're uh, to rent your fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars a month would probably be a, a real number for that kind of money, and so these are expensive, real construction equipment. Here they're adding tower sections. A crane of this size can get up to 120 feet tall or so. Um, and the next one, the Iago 130, uh, also gets up in that range, but reaches out further with more capacity, 17,000 pounds of line pull and. Uh, I don't know what the tip is on them, but they're 164 feet out. I would guess that they're almost two tons or 4,400 pounds at that point. And finally, one little cool thing, this Gapo, there's a little remote uh, tractor basically they have for bringing these into job sites now. Um, these are amazing because it takes a lot of effort to deal with the logistics of getting a crane in with a truck. It's way too long for a lot of the jobs that are out there, and this is an amazing innovation.